Here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Skarnet bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version episode 40. In the last episode, we explored Fort Tree and went to the route to the right to meet with Steven, who unveiled, or un, uh, is it unidentified? No, it is identified. He identified a Pokemon with using the Devon Scope, and it turns out to be Caracleon, our, uh, our now new team member. And uh, yeah, if you want to go check the party right uh rightly so i can't talk man i never could talk and it's really really shameful but yeah here we go we got ourselves garrison the serious nature so no stats has changed at all so this is pretty much the stats that it's built with in the first place but yeah in today's episode we are gonna go face gym leader winona which is also known as uh wheeler wheeler I, leader winona the bird user taking flight into the world. So, um, before I go inside, I really want to go teach Kecleon the move Strength. Because this is, the, you know, how I was complaining about in the Trick House. Because um, I didn't exactly want to teach Berloom that. I actually wanted to teach Garrison that. I was saving it for Garrison. But uh, the Trick House and all, you know, it's, it's, it's a problem. Um, anyway, I don't know why I changed it to that, but I'm gonna get rid of Screech. I know it can be helpful, but I might as well have Strength instead, just for the power. And I really am not that huge of a fan of Fury Swipes. I prefer Fury Attack, but I'm pretty sure they're different in power. I don't know, something about Fury Attack, like in Red, Blue, and Yellow Days, um, I, uh, I, I just like the animation, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so there's a couple things I want to talk about. Just a reminder that, um, well, I'm going to use the experience share on Kecleon. Just a reminder that I'm not going to talk about typings in this episode because it's a gym leader battle. So let's go talk to you. Yo, how's it going, Champ Bell Stan? Fortree gym leader was known as a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym, behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. All right, and I'm pretty sure that it doesn't say, yeah, it just says that. No winning trainers, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, the way this works pretty much is you could just walk through these doors. But uh, just keep in mind, if it's against the wall, it's not going anywhere. So uh, yeah, you're going to see that rightly so. And we could just skip this trainer, but I like battling everybody, so here we go. When Winona takes the battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. So the thing I want to talk about is uh, right now, just in case you don't know, but if you do know me, you already know that I'm in college. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves Humberto with the Skarmory. Not the best start in the world. So I'm going to immediately switch up because I got no um, non-resistant moves to attack him with. So I'm just going to go switch out right here into uh, Wobbuffet since he's level 33. But yeah. I, I'm into college right now, and I got classes between Monday and Friday. Um, three classes in total, just Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, and a Friday class. And <laughs> today is Friday, and I kind of left the Friday class um, just today. And I'm kind of feeling good at the same time, not all that great, only because... Uh, right before this recording, I just saw a depressing text message. Well, I'm not going to say it is. It kind of dropped my mood a little bit. But I'm kind of glad that I'm a little bit uppity now that I'm starting battling. So it's not all that bad. But besides the point, what I really wanted to talk about is uh, just my Monday through Thursday class is boring. And my Friday class, just the class I had today, is it's much better than the rest of them. Because first off, there's... Let me start out with the Tuesday-Thursday class. That class is boring. It's a computer class, and this stuff I already know. I feel like if you're gonna... If you're gonna teach computers, you should probably teach computers in, like, elementary school at this point, because 
You're teaching a college class how to use computers. I mean, that's like saying, like, oh, th there's nobody in this college that ever had a Facebook account or anything like that. Oh, they never seen technology before or something like that. So, it's, as you could tell, it's, it's called Intro to Multimedia, and you're kind of required to start from the beginning, so you're going to hear all this stuff that you already know. We already beat Humberto. It took a while. Urk, I couldn't stop you. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's go heal, nonetheless. Super Potion. So this is what I was talking about with the rotating doors. Um, you can't go up this one since it's against that. And you really want to go... I guess we could just go up and like do this double battle. We do have Wobble Fit in the secondary slot. So let's just go to it. But yeah, my Tuesday, Thursday class is very primitive. Uh, behold the elegant battle styles of bird Pokemon. When it takes me personally, you can't beat me easily. Um... So, awfully primitive, and it's just... Bird Keeper? I thought that said Ashley and Picnic or Jared. The class is boring. It's the whole point I want to talk about. I, we literally... He... he, My professor talks like if this is the first time you ever heard of technology before. And that's a bad thing. If you, if you have a professor that struggles with the subject of basic computer knowledge, he should not be a computer professor. Because the thing is, he's part of... Um, radio tv and, and broadcast department of the majors and which also kind of underlines on uh computers because there's editing involved in that department so that's where it kind of falls in that i'm just gonna you know i'm a fury swipe swab blue and then counter anyway um and he struggles a lot like i could tell Cause he, the way he talks about all this stuff, and sometimes he kind of, he even had problems setting up the projector. Which, to be honest, I might have problems setting up the projector because I don't set up projectors because I don't use them ever. But uh, they have instructions on there, and you can't even figure it out. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell this guy. Um, and he used to be a radio TV host on. I don't know if it was for the city I'm in, but. Um, maybe somewhere else I don't know I'm not sure but like the way he explains everything like if he explains a video I know not everybody knows the basic fundamentals of making a video or um, how to how to really edit them I guess properly like I the way I edit my videos um, I should say that's primitive because I'm very old school how I edit my videos because I literally use movie maker I don't have Premiere, I don't have all that fancy stuff, I don't have Sony Vegas, I just use Movie Maker and I try to use the best as I can with that. And for Majora's Mask, I just kind of do Premiere on that because I add the heart containers and such. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much... I don't know why it starts... I, I always derail my conversation and then go back in on track. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to strength this and... Oh wait, you're, I'm asleep? Actually, hang on. Since I'm asleep, I can use my blue flute, because it wakes up Pokemon. Alright. Fury attack. Is this... Well, no Zer is going to kill, but, you know. Um... But yeah, uh, the whole the whole thing with that, cause he he's he was explaining video, right? And then he goes like, well, you put audio, and then you put video, and then you put them together. It's like, yeah, I know, <laughs> I already know all this. Um, but I took the test yesterday about that class, and I didn't do so great. For some reason, I do really bad in tests. That's no joke. That's I am not kidding when I say that. I am terrible when it comes to tests. I will fail every test that comes my way, even if I really know it that much. Um, well, that's like I know it back in my hand, like Pokemon, I suppose. But other than that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that class is really boring. Uh, for the past number of weeks before the test we took, because I took it yesterday, uh, we would literally show up to class, uh, he would say hey, I would say hey, and then i sit down, and that'd be the end of it. 
we don't do a lecture or anything like that we sit there um, for about an hour and 45 minutes until the last 15 minutes he'll say okay does anybody have anything they like to show uh, he does have something on the board to say which assignments we have to do but uh, I uh, yeah Uh, I keep on having mini brain farts here and there cuz uh, I really should have just waited just a little bit longer so I could uh, feel more upbeat because that that the whole thing I was talking about before the recording is bothering me like crazy but it's fine alright so we are learning slash I don't want fury swipes it says power 18 that's kind of a odd number Okay, so if it, that means it'll be 36 damage, no matter what, on the power. Uh, 18 times 5, I'm not that good at math, but it's below 100 if we do hit. So technically speaking, it's stronger than strength. But that's only if we hit 5 times. Other than that, slash, if we're doing the same chance base type of stuff, we are more likely to hit a crit. And then we are hitting five times. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's higher probability when it comes to Fury Swipes, most likely. Because you'll hit it more times. Let's just replace it. I don't know why I'm thinking too much. Slash, if it does double damage, it'll do 140. So that would be stronger in strength regardless. And I'd rather have... And it's a high crit ratio, so... It makes it more likely. I didn't even realize Timmy was asleep the entire time. I'm just... Talking. And I hope nobody feels bad that I kind of... And feeling, I, I mean, I'm not down in the dumps or anything, but it's it's in the back of my head because that's the thing I did like right before the recording. But uh, yeah, we literally sit there for an hour and 45 minutes. Then he he says, "Okay, anybody has anything to do? 15 minutes, or in the fit, last 15 minutes of class to show." And you just know, it's just boring, and uh, I'm not really feeling it. And for my one. I almost said one day. My Monday and Wednesday class is the most irritating one. There's nothing wrong with that class. It's a selling professionally class. I need to switch out. This is going to take longer if I don't. Uh, let's go switch into Berloom. I know that Skarmory is strong against some, but it's something I want to do. Um, is this going to... How much is it gonna do back? Not enough! Alright, cool. Well, you're no longer safe by safeguard. Let's go with the mock punch and then with another counter. Okay, so my Monday Wednesday class is a selling professionally class. Um, I took it just because. I've been taking all my classes just because, really. Um, it's not that. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's nothing's wrong with it, like I said. But there's this one guy in my class that annoys the living daylights out of me since the first day of class. It started out with me not liking his voice, and then it comes out where I just can't stand looking at the guy. And I know I shouldn't be judgmental about um, people, how they look, or how they sound, or uh, how their personality, or how their values and views are. Um, I know I shouldn't do that. But... It's to a point where I just can't stand this guy. And the, just just so you guys don't think the wrong way, uh, the before the recording thing has nothing to do with him. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't be texting that guy. But, uh... Oh, jeez, whirlwind. I think he just gave me an edge. It should be neutral damage. I don't really remember. I feel like you're more specially defensive? And you're you're more special. I mean, grass is special, and flying is physical. But I feel like you're gonna keep on doing physical moves. It won't matter because I'm pretty sure Jimmy will be able to kill this thing in two more hits at least, or one. Okay, that works. Cool. But yeah, I I can't stand this guy because he just he just talks a lot, and it's annoying. But we defeated Bird Keeper Ashley and Picnic or Jared. I'm just kidding, no. You, you're strong. I was beaten! Dang straight you were beaten. Um, 
But yeah, just to give you an idea, I really don't like the way he talks because the way he talks is just irritating. So this is how you do this puzzle right here. Let's go up. Let me go heal my Pokemon before I go hop into this battle. Um, let's go heal you. And I'm gonna go heal a yo. And that should be good. So, some stuff that he talks about, he likes... There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Um, so, examples of why I don't like him. Okay, so I first started where I'm going into this class. It seemed pretty cool until he started talking. And then he, he made a joke. I don't remember what it was. But then he, like, looked around the room to see if anybody else laughed. And nobody laughed, and we, we just looked at him like, okay. For the longest time, I thought I was the only one that uh, don't like him. And uh, it started, sorry, I, I'm just stuttering because, I don't know. It started because, I don't know, I don't know what I want to say here. Pretty much he just he just rubbed me the wrong way. It, it didn't come off right for me that he always does too much when he talks. And again, I'm sorry if you don't like how I'm bad talking a person. Uh, especially behind their back. But it's been on my mind and I might as well talk about it. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. There was that one point where I started cracking up laughing at one point. Where he was, uh, we were talking about Starbucks, uh, how that business is going and such like that. And he started talking, and then he was all like, Oh, you know, that's how he starts off all his conversations, by the way. Uh, oh, you know, uh, I drink a lot of coffee and Coke. And I'm all like, th At that point, I started cracking up laughing because, you know, I don't know, this is something off about him not that he's slow or anything there's just something that just like I said it just rubs me the wrong way and uh, I don't know it's just it's just something either way though I should probably stop talking about this I do apologize if you think uh, you see a new side of me I, I'm not always like this it's just for, just because of him it, it ruins uh, my time in class and I feel like I'm wasting my time and it doesn't help that I'm not a morning person and that's a morning class so again I have to apologize if you don't like me bad mouthing this person I kinda keep it to myself and I feel like I should share since I'm all like um, I don't know I, I, it feels good to express yourself in a video and uh, yeah uh, pretty much, though, I don't know, I miss off today, man, that, that whole thing, do I even have, I don't think I do, no, I don't. Um, another example, I mean, he just gives me all these reasons why I shouldn't like him. Um, because he, he just go like, oh, this is my first semester, you know, and like, uh, you know, I'm just rapping on the quad, oh, I rap, by the way. And, you know, of course, that rubs me the wrong way as well. I don't know why I didn't heal my Pokemon. You know, it's like, oh, good. You gave me another reason why I shouldn't like you. Not that I don't like rappers, but... Uh, to me, it just came across like he's only becoming a rapper just so he could... I don't know, show off or something like that. Again, it just rubs me the wrong way. And I noticed that his name was Eduardo or something. Well, no, no, I lost! I lost! That was too much for a load for me to bear. All right. Okay, so I believe there's one more trainer. I need to heal my Pokemon. I definitely do need to do that before I forget. And uh, Garrison is level 22. And might as well Super Potion my Wobbuffet. And let's go see. Let's see uh, how this guy fares. So yeah, you better know that there are all sorts of flying type Pokemon. You do know that, right? 
Um, so yeah, my Monday, Wednesday class I don't like, my Tuesday, Thursday class I don't like. Well, the class I do like is in my Friday class. I think I don't have enough time to explain what's... Because there's another thing on my mind about that Friday class. It's my favorite class thus far. Um, all I could say is that it's a uh, humanities class. Let's just put it that way. I can't really put the real title of it. But that's as much as I could say. It's a humanities class. Um... And it, it's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Stomp. Okay. So, something I forgot to talk about. I haven't talked about... Oh, I flinched. Really, man? I flinched? What did he... No, he used stomp. It is a flinching move. I thought he used razor leaf for a second there. That probably would have helped. You know, it really does help the stab bonus if you, uh, you know, if he turns you back into a normal type. Stomp. There we go. Yeah, that's going to add to my stab damage. And it's pretty good. You know, it adds a 1.5, and that's almost doubled if you really think about it. Because if it's 80 powered and it's almost doubled, that means it's like, you know, 25% more or whatever. It should be 120 damage or so, and that should do good. Please don't crit! For the love of God, don't! Oh, oh, that didn't do nothing. Okay. Well, he outspeeds me as it is. I know Kefkleon's really slow, but that's it. We killed Tropius, and that's almost level 33. But we defeated player Darius. You seem to know your stuff. But yeah, maybe I should save it. Uh, for the next episode or something. Actually, I can still talk about it. So far, I've been playing Pokemon X, and I, I kind of thought to myself, um, I can't do this, can I? Nope. I thought to myself, nobody would exactly care about my Pokemon X playthroughs because in the future, like seven years from now, god dang it. In the future, seven years from now, it's like saying, uh, Oh yeah, this is my first time playing Pokemon Silver. You know, I got my Pidgey and stuff. And, uh, you know, that's how it is. And nobody would really care. You know, I thought about it, and it's the truth. But uh, for those that does care, you know, since Pokemon X have been out for almost two years, I think, or something like that, um, I'm right before the Elite Four. And I'm um, right before the gym leader. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. So, yeah. So, I got to apologize just in case you think this is a more negative video. But I promise you I was planning to tell you all this in the first place. Just the annoyance of my Monday and Wednesday class and the boringness of my Tuesday and Thursday class. Don't worry about it. In the next episode, it's going to get a lot more interesting when I talk about my Friday's class. The class I do enjoy. So, uh... Yeah, I'm no longer feeling down about this. Thank you, Motorcycle, for doing this. But now it is time to face Winona. The description I don't remember ever. It's like uh, the 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 person that takes flight with Pokemon or something like that. Either way, we got ourselves our Pokemon ready. So let's battle her. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. Huzzah! I have become one with bird Pokemon and have sword disguise! Huzzah! Have a grilling the battle! We have times with grace! Huzzah! Witness the elegant choreography in the Pokemon and I Not the most clever thing. I mean, I was thinking about giving her a British accent, but I already did that for Roxanne. And she'll see. You know, she kind of. She will pull it off. In case you haven't noticed, I really like British accents because I like. I don't know. It's just fun to try to say like that and it's fun to listen to as well not that it's uh you know nothing in a bad way i really like the the, the dialect of it and your mere move failed because you outspeed but yeah you got yourself a swab blue where is my notes okay well uh where is it i can't find it i can't find it oh right, here it is it was right in front of my face, and I didn't even see it. Anyway, uh, Swablu has the moves, nat or no, the ability Natural Cure has the moves Pear Song, Mirror Moves, Say Guard, and Aerial Ace. Instead of Swablu, in the Ruby and Sapphire version, it will be a Swaylo with the ability Guts, with the moves Quick Attack, Aerial Ace, Double Team, and Endeavor. Endeavor. So, we already took care of that, and now you're gonna go send out Tropius already, what the heck? So, uh, Tropius is actually not in the Ruby and Sapphire version. 
Um, but it is obviously an emerald version. It has the moose. Well, it has the ability chlorophyll with the moose. Sunny day, aerial ace, solar beam, and synthesis. And I'm going to go for a slash so I could get a, a high crit ratio going. Hopefully I could uh, do something with that. Nope, not a soul. Alright, well that's cool. So that would be 10 below damage because I remember the other Tropius have like a little bit more of a like 33% or so. Actually, not even 33. Uh, like 15%. Nobody knows what I'm talking about right now. Come on. So he's going to set up a sunny day. Now, it, it is very dangerous and Tropius has a really good move set uh, for like in-game purposes because sunny day plus solar beam, just in case you don't know, solar beam um, in the sunny day will make it not be a two-turn base move instead of just a one-turn base move. I don't think he's going to use it though. He does get chlorophyll because the sun is up, um, but he already outspeeds me as it is, so there's literally no point. I'm going to go heal up. I'm pretty sure Winona's going to do the same, and I'm pretty sure all her Pokemon are female, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm going to try to use Kecleon in this entire battle. He's going to use a Hyper Potion um, for obvious reasons. Now I've been. I already saw her l level of the of her ace, her ace level, and uh, I could tell you that I'm a tad bit over leveled. At the same time, I'm kind of not, because considering uh, that all the Kecleons we could get will get us level 30 Pokemon, and if we really wanted to, if we battle all the gym trainers, we would most likely get like. Two or three Pokemon that would be level 31. Unless we work with one Pokemon, then that would be level 32. So really think about this. You could actually get a full team because there are six Kecleons in total outside the Fort Tree. You know, one by that little dead end. Uh, first one we saw. I need to heal again. I'm sorry. One next to that Ninja Boy. The other one behind that sign. Uh, there's one by the grass uh, under the bridge. There's one where there's Devin, or not Devin, the, where you use the Devin scope to begin with on that bridge. And then there's another one a little bit following more through that route. So please tell me this is going to kill. If you crit me, that did a lot more damage than I expected. So now we killed Tropius. I didn't get one crit, I believe, but that's fine. We're at level 33, which is good. So two down, three more to go. So we got ourselves Pelepper. Um, so... I might as well stay in. Pelepper could be annoying because it protects a whole bunch. And the thing about protect is it starts off with 100%. And after a while, if you keep using it, it drops down um, by 2. So it'll be 100 first, then it'll be 50-50 chance of landing a protect. And if you still use it and succeed, it'll drop to 25%. So, yeah. I might just get a strength. Uh, see, there you go. There's one protect. Are you going to go for another protect? Because this Pelepper would just use Protects like crazy. Aerial Ace. Alright. Um, this isn't going to... This is, gonna, is that Double Protect? I think that's Double Protect. Cool. You know? I, I like it when you do Double Protect. It's so fun! Supersonic. You're basically a gold bat at this point, aren't you? You're basically a gold bat. Why don't you have a gold bat? That's flying type. Huh? Winona? Anyway, let's just... You got a water gun me. I don't think this should kill. I have a good special defense. That did 20 though, so it will kill in the next one. And I forgot that I was confused. I don't know why. It's kind of relevant to what I was talking about. I'm just going to heal again. If she chooses to heal her Pelepper, that will be a bit strange. Again, I'm only healing just because of... No, like obvious reasons, really. You gotta pull off this protect. Um, I know that in fifth generation there's some pheasant and he gets annoying with protects and detects and and swaggers and all that type of stuff, and it gets irritating quickly. And fun fact, my my least favorite bird, like you know how there's Pidgeot and there's Noctowl, Swalo, and then Star Raptor and so on and so forth. I'm gonna stay in just so I can switch out here against Skarmory. Did I even say what moves Pelepper had? Yeah, Keen Eye, uh, that's the ability with Water Gun, Supersonic, Protect, and Aerial Ace, and I think uh, in Ruby and Sapphire is the same exact thing. However, Skarmory 
has moves or the ability keen eye as well sand attack fury attack steel wing and aerial ace and i do believe it's the same thing in the ruby and sapphire version so um i'm gonna switch into wabafet because it should have all physical moves because it's a steel flying type both physical and that should be good not unless you sand attack me if you sand attack me enough times i am gonna have to switch out counter okay that's two sand attacks oh you're gonna play this game eh? I don't know. Counter. But yeah. Alright, let's see. Timmy! Lim lam lim lam Timmy! Counter? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to switch out. Sand attack for days. Okay, let me just switch back to Garrison and then switch back out to Wobbuffet. So you're gonna keep on sand attacking, that's fine. Is there going to be a point where you hit me, Skarmory? It's kind of cool to think that he would use... Oh gosh, why did he... Then again, I don't know what I was expecting there. I really want him to steel wing me. But no, you're going to sand attack again! Punk. Let's just keep countering, uh, because just in case he doesn't sand attack. You know, Skarmory. <laughs> this is getting old real fast. Is that three or is that two? I lost count already. Uh, counter. Steel wing. Oh, please hit back, Timmy. No! Do it again, please. If it's three, we're in a, we're in a bit of problems. I'm gonna switch out. I, I can't risk this accuracy loss again. I'm gonna switch out, go to Garrison, he'll probably have to take a Steel Wing. And then I'm gonna have to switch out again, let's change the Steel type, which is fine. Let's go back out into Wobbuffet, and I'm gonna have to heal him if he does go for Steel Wing. Uh, let's see, how much damage does he even does? 30 damage. I'm gonna heal, just because. This match is taking longer than it should, only because punks like to decide to steal wing like crazy. So I'm gonna just counter again. Sand attack. Okay, Skarmory. You have the mind of a hacker. I get it. Let's just keep on countering. Oh, please, Wobbuffet, you have to hit back. If you don't, we're we're in trouble. Okay, let's do one more. Let's try and make it interesting. This should make it to 13 or so. 12. Okay, close enough. We did it! We killed Skarmory. Alright, cool. That took longer than it should. That really took longer than it should. Uh, Altaria. Okay, so the thing about Altaria is, it's definitely its ace, but if you use Kenny, Skarmory, it actually counters it. It completely walls this thing. So, uh, Altaria is holding an Ornberry. I believe its ability is Natural Cure. It has the moves Earthquake, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, and Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is resistant because of his steel typing. Dragon Breath is resistant because of his steel typing as well. And Earthquake, obviously, since I'm a flying type, I'm immune to it. So, it could Dragon Dance all at once, but Dragon Breath is a special move. So, it, what it really is doing is just outspeeding my Skarmory. Like, it's, it could raise his attack all it's want, but it's not even hitting me at all. So yeah, this is a special move. It won't it won't raise, but that's a crit though, which is unfortunate. But it's still fine. We could just steal wing, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, Skarmory for the Skarmory, but believe me, you don't want to see that. That'll take too long. That'll take way too long. And I don't know why you have an Orin Berry. I know that main neck trick has a Citrus Berry. So why does the six gym leader Winona? Why do you choose to give an Orin Berry to Altaria? I'll never know. But uh, it would be a good idea to use uh, Ice Beam, since we do have it at this point. Um, I've been saving it. I don't know. I want to get you guys feedback whether I should have Ice Beam or not on uh, Marsh Jump. And I know Kicklin can learn it too. You have a Hyper Potion. Alright, cut. And uh, let's just keep Steel Winging, I suppose. I was thinking that I should wait till the Pokemon League and give it to Marsh Stomp. Uh, 
and like delete one of his HM moves or something. That's what my plan is. Either way though, I think we got this in the bag. He haven't even attempted to hit us besides that Dragon Breath that critted! Oh! But yeah, Altaria is indeed level 33, so I kind of feel bad for overleveling. But like I said, you could get up to 6 Kecleons at level 30. And that... I don't know. Either way though, we defeated Leader Winona. Never before have I seen a trainer combat Pokemon with more grace than I! Huzzah! In great condition of your powers, I present you this gym badge! Huzzah! We got $3,300. Huzzah! Sam received the feather badge from Winona. Alright, cool. With the feather badge, all Pokemon to level 7, even those received through the trains will obey every command! Huzzah! You will, leave. you will also be able to use the ancient move flame outside of battle! Huzzah! And this, this is a gift from me! And we obtained TM40, which is Aerial Ace, as a flying type move that never misses. TM40 contains Aerial Ace! Huzzah! It's speed! No Pokemon should be able to avoid it! Huzzah! And we registered Gym Leader Winona in the Pokenav. Alright, cool. So, if you like this episode, don't forget to press the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, you did it! You achieved liftoff! Join the White Tigers and Dragons, and in the next episode, we're going to go past where Steven left us off, and we'll continue on that route below and head for our next destination, because right now, we got ourselves six gym badges. So on that note, join the White Tigers and Dragons, and White Tigers and Dragons to you.